Today's video is actually going to be a lot more about wrist mobility and releasing of the forearms. So if you haven't checked out last week's video, which was where <laughs> Estefan was talking about grip strength training, definitely go check that out and work your way up to this video because they both kind of go hand in hand with each other. So I find this really, really important. Just a personal story for me, when I was going through my yoga teacher training, I ended up with tensor bandages on both the wrists through almost maybe about like half the time because my wrists are not only super weak, they, if you start strengthening it and forget to release it, they're getting tighter, they're getting tighter, they lose the mobility. When we don't have that strength and we lose mobility, our other bones and joints like our elbows and shoulders kind of start to make up for it, which can lead to even more issues and whatnot. So that's why, again, both these things are super important, strength and release. So for the first one, it's gonna be regarding a bit more of mobility in the wrists. Quite basic and yeah. <laughs> so the first things first, you're gonna come to a neutral tabletop. If you are someone who has elbows that hyperextend like I do, where they kind of point out that direction, the first thing you wanna make sure is take a look at the elbow pits and turn them in towards each other. That will help straighten out your elbows. You see that difference? You have to start getting used to it and actually, actually <laughs> consciously think about it for you to naturally start doing it, but it takes a little bit of time. Now focusing on the wrist, make sure the palms are glued to the mat. Every finger, you wanna feel like it's stuck to the mat and not gonna move. As you inhale, start to shift your body weight forwards a bit so those shoulders pass the wrists. As you exhale, shift your weight back. And you just keep doing that maybe five, 10 times. Depending on how weak your wrists may be, you'll start to feel it pretty fast. So you just wanna take it a bit easy. You don't wanna push it, especially with the wrists. Once you're finished, come back to that neutral tabletop position and then simply just going side to side. So as you inhale, shift to the right again, those shoulders past the wrists and then shift to the left on the exhale. Keep doing that again about five to 10 times. On this one, really make sure the thumbs and the pinkies are glued to the mat. They can lift up so easily. So make sure you're really pressing them down. And then when you're finished, of course, come back to that neutral tabletop and just either sit back on your ankles or come to a cross leg position for this next one. So after that wrist mobility exercise, always give your wrist a little bit of a shake just to feel that blood flowing still nice and smooth. They will sometimes feel a little bit weak after, but that's fine because you will get that strength back. Moving on to our first stretch, this is sort of what I would call like part one or the say more easier beginner stretch and then we'll move on to part two after the more advanced stretch. So bring either your left or right hand out in front of you with the palm facing down. Take your opposite hand and pull the fingers down towards the mat almost as if you're trying to pull it towards your body. This will start to open up the wrist and you also wanna feel the forearm pushing up towards the ceiling at the same time. You don't really see it, but your muscles are actually doing that for you. That will start to open up again the top of the wrist. Now, of course, release that, turn the palm up, and we wanna open up this part of the forearm as well as underneath the wrist, pull those fingers down towards the mat and again towards you, opening up the wrist, feeling that forearm pushing up as you pull the fingers down. And obviously, make sure to always do both hands, not just one. <laughs> Even if you only strengthen one, still do both. Try to keep that balance within the body. So for the part two, the more advanced or tougher stretch, we're gonna come back to that neutral tabletop position. You're gonna take one hand at a time and turn the fingers outside and then point them towards your body and place the wrist back down. Now the thing is, obviously, if you don't have that much rotation or mobility in the wrist just yet, your fingers might point just out to the sides, that's okay, everything's one step at a time. Now here, just like the stretch before, we wanna feel the forearm pushing forwards as you start to lean the weight backwards, really opening up the wrists again. If this is too much for you, bring the knees towards the hands and that way you can put more weight in your knees rather than bearing it down on your wrists. Now slowly peel one hand away from the mat, rotating it back to their normal position. And for this one, I always say it's kind of the gross feeling one, you'll see what I mean. Take each hand one at a time, point the fingers down towards the mat and then towards your body, placing the top of the hand down. This is what I mean by it feels gross, it's that best word to describe it, but you do kind of start to get used to it. Again, you wanna feel the forearms pushing forwards as you lean that weight back. If it's too much, walk those knees towards you, putting more of the weight in your knees 
rather than bearing it down again in those wrists. One at a time, flip those palms back over, sit back on the heels, just like before, give your wrist that nice little shake, maybe even interlock the fingers, roll them in each direction, just get the blood flowing again. Now, just to basically work on a bit of a massage to the forearm, the nice part, take one forearm and place it palm up on the mat. This is where you're gonna take your knee and place it right on top of your forearm, rocking it maybe a little bit back and forth, side and side. Move up and down your forearm as close to your wrist as you can get as well without causing any pain, just to massage out that forearm. You can then turn it palm down and use the opposite elbow, place it on the forearm and just use pressure points or again roll a little side to side, back and forth, massaging it out. Pretty easy doing it yourself, but if you do have a partner who is willing to help you, the next clip will basically show you exactly what I kind of did on myself, but the partner helping you. So definitely give these a shot and tell us what you think, as well as don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Also, if you're interested in more of the yoga side of Stasis Jiu Jitsu, including things like, you know, regarding more meditation, spirituality, low waist, that sort of journey, definitely give us a follow at Stasis Yoga on Instagram. And also we wanted to let you guys know that next week we're actually not gonna have a video. It is the holidays, so we want to take a nice little break. We'll get back to you after that though. So if I don't talk to any of you guys by then, happy holidays and happy new year.